have certain hunts that really just stand out for us. Now on this trip, well, I was heading to Colorado, a place that I absolutely love, and I had an awesome surprise. Good job, Grandma. It's been a long time since I've been on a, a deer hunt. Uh, the last hunt I was on was eight years ago out in Wyoming uh, for uh, antelope. But it's been eight years since I've handled a gun, and it, it's, it was a little apprehensive about going out and doing it again at my age. You're about an inch and a half low. Now, I am extremely lucky. My grandma, she was a hunter back when she was younger, and I invited her for Christmas to come along to Colorado with me. I'll tell you, when Melissa booked this hunt for you, I had this really nice velvet buck spotted and I was gonna save him oh. for you. But when she got here, she shot it. Oh, she got good it. story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She took her away from us. <laughs> Melissa and I have hunted together now two years and uh, she's taken two, two mule deer, two, two antelope with us. Uh, and she was wanting to bring her grandma out of her, so it was pretty exciting. Now what we were gonna be doing, we were gonna be doing a spot and stock mule deer hunt. My grandma is 79 years old. How awesome is it to have a grandma like that who can come out with you? And she was so excited. I was given a 270 with Winchester. Uh, it's a very easy gun to handle. It's got very little recoil in it, so it, and it's very accurate and it does the job. No, it, was, it wasn't hard at all, it came right back. I, they just said, when they looked at it, they said, well, if it had been a deer, it'd be dead. So I still had the, had the aim out, I guess. One of the nice things is my grandma's not new to hunting. In fact, she used to hunt when she was younger, but it had been years. We were gonna try for 250 yards and in, but I was confident on a spot and stock hunt, we could get in even closer. You know, it was a little um, intimidating at first, thinking, I don't know. And they set out a target 200 yards out, which is quite a ways. Now, I know my grandma was really excited about it, but I don't think she was thrilled about the idea of being on camera. She's like, I don't mind going hunting, but I don't know if we really need to film it. And I said, yes, absolutely. This is gonna be so much fun and a great way for us to show everybody how much fun we have together and the entire experience. Sportsman's Alliance, our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that the Sportsman's Alliance has been leading the charge to delist recovered wolves in the Western Great Lakes region from the protections of the Endangered Species Act? Just another fun fact showing you how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. A lot of people often say, well, it's not necessarily the animals, it's the hunt, the experience, and that couldn't have been more true on this trip to Colorado with my grandma. Now, how many people can say that they've taken their grandma out on a spot and stock mule deer hunt? Not that many, which is half the reason I was so excited about this trip. Now, what made it great, we were seeing so many deer. And it was cool to see because out at Joey Menegotti's place at Story Creek Outfitters, you literally are going around and you are constantly seeing deer. We're in Southern Colorado, just, uh, just south of Walsenburg, Colorado. We offer elk, deer, bear, mountain lion, turkey, and antelope. We own around 32,000 deeded acres. And then with some of our leases, we're up around 40 to 45,000 total acres. I've been there during the archery season and I've had some incredible luck. In fact, I was here just a few months earlier, arrowed an absolutely beautiful velvet mule deer. So this trip, it wasn't about me hunting. It was all about taking grandma out and making this an experience she would never forget. We've got a nice buck spotted across the other side. We can get up on top so that way we're shooting down. I think that's going to be easier than going to the bottom shooting up. So it looks like a good one. He's got bloody horns from just coming out of velvet. So it's really nice. Oh, that was a close one. Mm -hmm. Boy, 
All you could see is just the tops of them. Those trees got right in the way there, didn't they? Yeah, they are right down in it. Yeah, they didn't go that far. They mm -hmm. just dropped up. I think Joey said we're going to try to get back. We'll go around, come to the bottom. He said they do that. They're always in here, so. Well, we'll try and go around. This buck here looks like a whitetail all day long, and he's always looked like this. He's definitely one buck that we've been wanting to target for a long time. You get right up by Joey there, Grandma. We got in great position on this buck, and uh, we had the little buck that was hanging out with him. Obviously, if we wanted him, we could have harvested him any time, but we were after the other one. And, and uh, once you know it, after tw 20 minutes of sitting there waiting him out, uh, when he finally steps out, he just bolts across there and didn't give us an opportunity. And then he had his butt to us, and he knew what he was doing. He's he's slipped away many a times, as you would know. Uh, he's gotten away from Melissa and us several times in two years, and he got away from us that day. Can't shoot into the sun. You can't see anything. <laughs> Not even a warning shot? Not even a warning. <laughs> Tell Joey get that sun moved. <laughs> Tell him what a bad guy he is. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been over there. <laughs> no. Well, we have to try again. <laughs> try again. That's all we can do, huh? Yeah. Try again. <laughs> That's how you get the big ones, right? That's right. Keep trying. <laughs> Gotta get a good guide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you'll do. <laughs>
Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. We've been coming out here glass and we have had extremely hot weather in this entire hunt. We're over a nice area right now. In fact, where we spotted that buck last this morning wasn't very far away at all. So we're just kind of glassing through these trees. It's a little early yet, a little too hot yet, but we're doing our best and getting out here and glassing. And Grandma, you having fun yet? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> glassing these mule deer, we, we try to get up on some advantage points and glass as much as we can and once we find a buck we either try to bed him down or we'll look at all our options you know and try to figure out the wind or whatever and do our best to to get in as close as possible just depends on where he's at and the situation We had a nice one spotted with a cow in the middle. You know, we couldn't shoot the cow, so we just had to let him go, you know. And so, yeah, you have your your downs. You can't just give up because of it. You just come back and say, well, tomorrow's another day. We'll try again. And it pays off. One of the coolest parts, well, I'm confident that this hunt with my grandma was 10 times more fun than any spot and stock hunt I've done on my own. It was awesome to see her eyes light up. We'd get into position, the deer would be switching around, and you know what? It doesn't always work out. And we were finding that out quickly. In fact, I think grandma was thinking, I don't know, are we even gonna get one of these big bucks? We had several nice shooter bucks throughout the week. Uh, we had some issues with some cattle getting in our way and playing interference. Uh, I think it's part of the game. I think they get together and they kind of talk about this. <laughs> Just trying to get set up on these bucks and getting them to stand still long enough for us was a was an issue. Oh man, I'm shaking. Are you shaking? He's <laughs> a nice one, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Are you shaking at all? Or just me? <laughs> you just shoot. <laughs> I'll shake when I shoot. <laughs> we were having so much fun seeing so many bucks that it made everything very easy, supernatural, and all we were doing is laughing, watching mule deer, and trying to keep Joey at bay. Well, I'm a jokester anyway, it don't matter who you are, and I love having fun with everybody. So, everybody on their toes, like I said, if you ain't living on the edge, you're taking up too much space, so. <laughs> well, you just take him as he is. You just kind of listen to what he's saying before you reply something and think about it first. Because nine times out of ten, it, it was something kind of ridiculous, and you'd think, that can't be. But he's a very good guy. He knew that he, he could see a deer way before we seen it, or I, at least me, anyway. Now, it was getting tough. In fact, it was getting down to the wire, and I think she was starting to worry, what if I don't get a buck? But Here's the thing, we were having so much fun, I wasn't even concerned. I knew that Grandma was in good hands. This segment was brought to you by Convergent Hunting Solutions. Try their electronic game calls today, featuring Bluetooth technology to work right with your smartphone. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free Scout Look hunting app for your smartphone. Range Master Trailers, luxury gone rugged. Master Hand Milling, revolutionizing the range. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. S4 gear. Sure Shot Jewelry, check out the Melissa Bachman collection today. And Boss Buck, 
for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. Closed captioning is brought to you by Cuddyback Digital. Upgrade to Cuddyback and your images will never look better. This, this was an extra special trip. This was not your ordinary Colorado mule deer hunt. Oh no, this one was way better. And the reason why, I was bringing my grandma along for a spot and stock mule deer hunt out at Story Creek Outfitters near Walsenburg, Colorado. And boy, we were in for an awesome time. It's very pristine, it's very private. Uh, and it's, it's great for a while. I think everybody should be out here and slow down a little bit and learn what life is really like because uh, we drove around for three days solid and looking in places you wouldn't ever get otherwise. Everybody should be able to uh, do it once or twice in their life anyway. As we were putting on different stocks, well, we decided to go back up to the top and reset. Now, Joey, my cameraman and I, we were all looking one way and all of a sudden grandma's like, hey guys, uh, we got some bucks right over here. And there were the big bucks that we had been after before. In fact, this is a buck that I had history with. We call him the big white tail buck because he had a mule deer body, but it looked like a perfect white tail rack. You were out glassing around the other way and I was looking down there and I happened to see him right there. They weren't worrying about anything. So our guide got us around and down close to about 150, 160 yards. The goal was to try to get within 100 and 150 yards for her to be comfortable. Slowly but surely we got within that range and then uh, of course we had some more cows in our way. We had to jockey around them and get them out of there uh, like our job wasn't hard enough already. It takes a lot of patience. You can't, you're not just going to run out there and shoot something and come back. It takes time and we've seen the particular one the day before and we missed him then but kind of followed back and went back. We thought he might be around and he was still. I had been after him years before when he was in velvet, but never did get a good enough opportunity. But this time, we went down there, got set up. Grandma didn't have a clear shot, so we waited. And then these bucks started going up this little dike ridge, and you know, I just lined her out and told her there was a third one from the top, and the rest was up to her. Finally had a good shot and let it go. Oh, Ooh, good job, Grandma. <laughs> good job! Really? You got him! <laughs> Hit him pretty good, so then he went up and over the top of the ravine and then coming down. We had to drive all the way around to the other side to see if we could find him. And he was laying under a big, big tree. That one hit him. Good job, Grandma. Yep, down he goes. She did a heck of a job. Made a good shot, and uh, I knew the buck was hurt when she shot him, and he wasn't going far. Look at this. Wow, pick that up, Grandma. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd shoot a mule deer this big? No, never. <laughs> she had just got an awesome deer, and no question, I was way more excited. I was shaking, I was filming with the little camera. I was having so much fun. Grandma, cool as a cucumber. This really wasn't on my bucket list, but it is now, and I'm very happy I did it. Uh, I've talked to other people my age. Uh, I have a sister a couple of years older, and she just said, I think that's great. I wish I could be doing that. So I think it's, it, it gets other people in, in the elderly age to say, hey, you can go out and do it, and it's not that hard. You just well, we have to have the right people behind you to help you. You can't do it alone but it's been very nice, it's been an awesome hunt. Finally, to get it together at the end and, and put a good deer on the ground, uh, man, it's a great accomplishment, not just on my part, but on everybody's part that was involved here. And to see Grandma make a good shot, and uh, it's her biggest mule deer buck, uh, man, it just means the world to me. 
Sure, my grandma, she ended up getting one of the biggest bucks, way better than anything I could have ever imagined. But it's those memories we had together, joking <laughs> around with Joey, getting setting up, and then seeing all that hard work pay off. What an awesome experience. If this isn't a testament to anyone can do it, I don't know what is. This segment was brought to you by Range Master Trailers, the ideal combination of rugged durability and luxurious comfort. Built on a lightweight all aluminum frame, the Range Master can be customized for all your hunting adventures. Range Master Trailers, luxuries gone rugged.